confident. I've always. <laughs> oh, wait. I've never seen this before. <laughs> That's how it starts off. i always been like this. Body, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> wait. Let me laugh. <laughs> Was that the plan? Hold on. Whew. Whew. Nigga, this is my stream. I wasn't even ready for that. I'm sorry. Hold on. We got to. Can we get a replay? I didn't. I didn't know that was coming. Nobody told me that was on the menu today. I wasn't. That wasn't scheduled. <laughs> Nowhere on my agenda <laughs> did it say that. <laughs> let's, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Body yadi. Okay. What's she talking about? Getting shot? Where did she get shot? In her body, yada yada yada. <laughs> Why would she start off with that? Hey, Twitch. I don't know about the TOS shit. This is her. I, I, I ain't putting no shit, nigga. I don't play Megan Thee Stallion. I don't listen to this shit. I don't watch her twirl. I don't do none of that shit. I ain't got nothing to do with this. But this is news and update. I like to stay updated with what's going on in the world. Try to share with other people that want to know what's going on in the world. <sighs> I don't know if a lot of people know. I'm pretty sure some do. But again, I got I got followers from Germany and Japan and all kind of shit. They don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> so for all the foreigners, all my foreign followers, <laughs> this girl talk about she's supposed to be a rapper and she said that she got shot by another rapper. This was probably about like two, three years ago or some shit, but nobody believed her. Everybody believed her. They, everybody trying to figure out what's going on. She finally, after like two, three years, sat down and tried to explain what's going on. And again, like I told y'all, I haven't seen this, but the internet and everybody in America, <laughs> this shit don't make no sense from men, women, shit, other female rappers. Like nobody's, nobody. Even other female victims <laughs> saying shit like this don't make sense. But you know what? I'm going to let y'all assess everything. Let, let y'all evaluate <laughs> the situation. <laughs> y'all, go ahead. I just um let y'all know what's, uh, what this is supposed to be. But um we're going to watch this. Uh, it's, it's only like, it was like 12 minutes. Yeah, it's like 12 minutes. Let's see what she's talking about. Let's give her a chance. She wants to protect the black man. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the, the heart gets warmer. Let's see if we can protect the black woman. I've been like this all my life. I've always been confident. I've always been loud. Oh man, hey, one more other thing though. Megan Thee Stallion kind of big. When I, now when I first seen Megan Thee Stallion, it was on Instagram. I was going through like social media. I didn't know who this was. It was just, they was talking about this big ass, this black girl that was extra tall. She taller than all the guys and all this other type of shit. And they was just like making all these little memes and stuff, putting her next to all kind of niggas that was like this tall to her and shit. When I saw, I thought they was just making fun of some girl that went viral or some shit. I'm like, nigga, leave her alone, nigga. She tall, so what? Nigga, I'm tall too. Nigga, what that put? Leave her alone. I went and I saw another video of her twerking. All oh, that shit was dismissed. I'm over here talking about leave her alone when I really seen the videos of her uh, performing. I retract my statement. <laughs> I retract all of my statements. <laughs> Nigga, look. She's such a nice girl. Leave her alone. She's tall. God made her that way. She's black. She's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with her. And then nigga go to her Instagram, nigga. I've been like this all my life. I've always been confident. I've always been loud. I've always been outgoing. Like, I've always just enjoyed <laughs> entertaining. <laughs> when I look now, I'm like, damn, we really do this. <laughs> when did you know you were good at this? I feel like no. I wrote my first like rap when I was seven, and 
I didn't tell my mama, well, I did tell my mama the rap, but I didn't tell her I wanted to be a rapper, but I saw her rapping and I would go to the studio with her and I would like sit in the waiting room, waiting at the door, like, listening yeah, to what she in there saying. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not fire. I like that. <laughs> Girl, I could do that at seven. I could do that. And when I got to college, everybody just knew me as the stallion and she rapped and I was like, okay, this is my identity. Yes, this is what we wanted. H-Town Mater, H-Town Racer. Damn, I'm so proud to be your H-Town Mater. Five years after Megan Thee Stallion posted this dorm room video, she made her debut on the Billboard Hot 100 list with the song Big Ol' Freak. That same year, her mother passed away. She had already lost her father when she was just 15. I asked her what she had learned from her parents, a question that made her emotional. I didn't mean to make you cry. I was just curious about the impact and effect they've had on your life. They were my best friends. It was only the three of us all the time. Like when I went to school, I feel like it was a little different with me interacting with other kids. So like... Nigga, these your baby pictures? They were my best friends. It was only the three of us. That was you. That's when Megan was a pony, <laughs> not a stallion. Nigga, is that a jail picture? Is that a gel pitch? Wait, hold on. Where are they at? Why you got brick walls? <laughs> what is he wearing? Was he a janitor? Like I don't like the only time I see people like like as for men like like jobs and shit and pictures and shit. This is like a prison photo, nigga. I just. I mean, was it take your, your kid and, and girl to work day, nigga? Was he a janitor? There's no reason for him to be dressed like this and, and he does like a professional job. I just. So all the time. Like when I went to school, I feel like it was a little different with. Another baby picture. Failed. <laughs> Failed, nigga. You like you a little droopy on that. You, you like you just a little bit too droopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, tell me that wasn't Megan Thee Stallion as a baby. Like, the last picture was okay. This one, uh, look like she's still developing. Tell me she don't like Droopy, though. No? Then you're lying to me. She lying to me. I know exactly what Droopy look like. You look just like that with the long ears, nigga. That's all she missing. That's all she missing. Me interacting with other kids. So, like, they would kind of pickle me a little bit. Like, I was so tall. All now, I'm not going to lie. She do kind of like her mama. You, you, that's your mama. That's your mama. The way she looking down there, I don't... Your face definitely changed. It, it really? Did. They just really let me know, like, you can't never... You can't ever let somebody else... Somebody else's insecurities make you insecure. I'm a savage. Yeah. God. In hey, May Twitch. 2020, Megan Thee Stallion's hit song, Savage, is inescapable. And so is she. Savage is, is everywhere. You are a huge success. Which brings us to July uh, 12, 2020. Let's go there, Megan. That night changed everything for you. Rapper Tory Lanez has been charged with shooting artist Megan Thee Stallion during an argument. Megan Thee Stallion hit by multiple gunshots. There was an argument in the car? It it was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. All the but time. I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like, this was one of the <coughs> times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the that it did. Can you just briefly walk us through what happened that night? It starts you at a party at Kylie Jenner's house. I had went there we and we were just hanging out and I was ready to go because I had been there all day. So you guys end up in a car, you, Tory Lanez, your friend at the time, Kelsey, and his driver slash security. Mm -hmm. Tory Lanez, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, is a Grammy-nominated rapper and singer from Canada. Kelsey Harris was one of Megan Thee Stallion's best friends from Houston. There was an argument, and you get out of the car, right? The, at that point, the argument wasn't even with me. Like, the argument was with the two people in the backseat. 
So I asked the driver to pull the car over. Like, I'm done with this. And I should have stayed out of the car. Like, I should have not got back in the car. Mm -hmm. And they was like, Megan, just get back in the car. We almost there. Like, just get back in. Mm -hmm. So I get back in the car. It's like it's getting worse. The like, arguing in the car. The arguing in the car is getting worse. And I don't want to be in this car no more. Like, because I see it's getting crazy. Mm -hmm. So I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. Yes. And all I hear is this man screaming. Is he said dance, and he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> like he shot a couple of times, and I, I so was so scared. So is he in the car shooting from the car? Megan? He is he? standing up over the window, okay. shooting. Uh -huh. And hold on, now, now, l listen, listen, Tory Lanes. I don't know if you're ever gonna see this video. He might not ever see it. Listen, nigga, you too short to be trying to shoot over a window. <laughs> he too short. Case dismissed. Case fucking dismissed. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. You ain't gonna lie to me. You lie to them dumbass niggas. You ain't lying to court. We taking this shit to fucking court, nigga. This bitch is guilty. <laughs> Where my gavel, nigga? Where my fucking gavel? This nigga really gonna sit here and then tell me. Say it again, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I think we found our solid evidence in this case. Is it, let's, can we just play back like about like 10, 15 seconds? Just maybe right there. What's, what's that? 49, where we at right now? I didn't even want to. No, 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 yeah, yeah, we at 420. Go back about 10, yeah, go about 20 seconds. What, we, what, what she say? Say and it again. He said, dance. And he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> like, he shot a couple of times. <laughs> and I, I so was so scared. So is he in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He is he? standing up over the window. Bam! Guilty. Guilty, I say. Guilty. <laughs> this bitch talking about, oh, oh my God. Boom! No. Nigga, shall we Google? <laughs> we about to go. Hey, listen. I upgraded stream, bitch. Mm -mm, this is not the time, nigga. I'm on some new shit. I can do some new shit. As a matter of fact, I'm about to prove shit. Go ahead, put in Tory Lanes and Google. We're all about to welcome, join in, huddle up, everybody. Hello, we got some information against Miss Miss Stallion. <laughs> go ahead, Tory Lanes, Canadian rapper. Slash singer, slash songwriter, slash slash not tall enough to shoot over the glass. I want his height. I want his height. What kind of car was it, nigga? I don't give a fuck if that motherfucker was a Tonka. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it, if it was one of the little cars that the kids be playing with, nigga. That nigga can't shoot over a Hot Wheels window. That nigga not tall enough for that shit. Don't lie. Don't 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 do that. That that was the wrong move to make right there. You your whole case, your, your whole case and everything just. That just fell apart. Height, nigga. Hold on. Yeah, height. Pull up that height. It's Tory Lanez Fire 3, nigga. I don't know. Why are you asking me the question? I'm asking you. What type of shit is this? Hold on, man. I need accurate evidence. We need. We about to solve the case right now. <laughs> we about to solve the case right now. I, I promise you. He cannot even look over that. Sh he shot over the glass window. <sighs> so he was still in the car while he did this. I thought he was outside and he sh he said that while you was shooting. So he did all that while he was in the car. Can I, can I get the height? That nigga is not five seven. Now that is another damn lie. You guilty? Google. Who 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 been searching this shit? This must have been one of them Megan Thee Stallion fans. He has to be five seven. <laughs> Either that or one of his fans that just can't believe he really that fucking short. That nigga's a mini me, nigga. Him and Bow Wow competing. Him and Bow Wow's competing. I know they are, nigga. Give him the height, nigga. How come you got his 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 age, his birthday? You got you got where this nigga's from. Y'all got how like this nigga hairline is like forty seven millimeters or some shit away. Like y'all got the nigga hairline and all kind of shit. How come I can't get his height? 
I think I got his birthday born June, July 27th. Wait, you born? Wait, hold on. Wait, that, your birthday is July 27th. My birth, my my brother birthday is, is that same day, nigga. Hold up, nigga. Hold up, nigga. Why you and my brother got the same? I never seen that before. My bad. Hold on, it's good. <laughs> but you you see how I can, I'm pulling I can pull up information. It'll be about everything else. I know y'all can't see what I'm saying. I'm trying to pull this shit up. Hold on, screech. Hold on. Nigga, I need the height though. I'm not gonna lie, he probably paid people to take that shit off the internet. He said, you know what, I give you a little bit extra, you just leave that part out. We gonna figure this shit out though. What is Toy Lane's height? Nigga. Alright, look, but look, I'm, nigga, fuck the height, nigga. We know he ain't past 5'5". Five, five. We know that for a fact. Nigga, you ain't past 5'5". Five, five. Don't even lie to me, nigga. I just know a nigga that ain't past 5'5", you ain't shooting over the window. You just, that's not possible, nigga. You got, did he have a car seat? A car seat with the booster? <laughs> that nigga ain't shooting over no window. That don't make no sense to me at all. I don't know why I'm even, like, shit like that made me want to just turn the shit off. But for the sake of the video and everything else, let it go. Height, age, and everything else, nigga. What, like, hold on, nigga. The nigga. See, don't give me centimeters, nigga. I'm not trying to do all that extra shit. Nigga said centimeters and shit. Nigga. The hell is this? You making a cake, nigga? What type of shit? Crap. <laughs> I don't know. If this is. Is this real? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I guess the nigga five three nigga. I guess he five three. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Y'all wanna see what I see? Let's go PC real quick, squeeze. Y'all see this right here? I don't know. Y'all can see it. I'm over here in Toyland's biography, nigga. Wiki, nigga. Whatever this shit is. 27. Let's see, it say 5'3. <laughs> you 5'3, nigga. Damn. <laughs> These niggas got this shit of centimeters, meters, and everything. Nigga, they got your ass in kilograms. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, nigga, if you 5'3, though. Yeah. Nigga ain't reaching over shit, Screech. Reaching over a window? Nah, Flynn. Nah, Screech. Oh, was that a smooth transition? Did I do that right? That's the first time I did that. I hope I did that right. I remember I was playing Grand Theft Auto, and I pressed one of this shit, and I accidentally switched the, the, the screen. I hope I got that right, though. But y'all see the height, though? <sighs> yeah, nigga, no. Nah. 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 I, I feel like he would have to be in the car, standing on the seat. Going outside the w like this, maybe that, but that would just be too extra for it to even be doing all that. See, it still doesn't make sense to me. But she said he was shooting over the window. He that there's height requirements that go with that. I just I just want you to know. Like I just I really went that I just went through the trouble of researching this shit. Is he really? <laughs> is he really not that tall though? <laughs> It's just funny because it's true. <laughs> it's funny because it's Oh, man. That nigga be in the car like Toy Story. <laughs> nigga got to stand on the fucking armrest. Trying to pull up the shit to roll the window up. Nah, nigga. He wasn't shooting over no window. We can, you can go ahead and scratch that off. <laughs> you go ahead and eliminate that. I don't know why you even go to exaggerate that. You gave him a little bit too much credit at that point. Damn, I'm, he that tall? <laughs> he shot over the window. I thought you was walking down the street and you turned around and then he shot you. I thought he was walking. Y'all both got the car. And now he was. <sighs> this. Let's just let her do what she's she's gonna do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so fast, and all I hear is this man screaming. Is he said dance, and he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god. 
Like he shot a couple of times. Mm -hmm. A couple of times. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He Allergy? is standing up over the window okay. shooting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared cause I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked down at my feet cause I wasn't even, the adrenaline is pumping so hard. I'm not sure if he hit me. Like, I feel it, but I don't understand what's happening. So I look down at my feet and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm really bleeding. Mm -hmm. So I like drop down and I crawl in somebody's driveway. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't believe you shot me. <laughs> and what is he saying, Tory Lane saying? He's after apologizing. He He's I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't tell nobody I'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you offering me money right now? Help me. Like, and if you're sorry, just help me. Like, but at that moment, we didn't even make it to, to the house. Like somebody had already called the police and it was like so many of them, it was helicopters. I was like, oh my God, we all about to die. Like the George, the George Floyd incident had just happened. The police are definitely very much shoot first, ask questions after. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a hot gun in the car. I'm bleeding. I've been shot. They about to kill somebody. Like something bad is about to happen. Mm -hmm. So somebody hears the gunshots, they call the police. The police come and they say what to you? They tell everybody to get out, get the, out car. the car. TMZ obtained video from that night. And it, you can see the footage of me in a swimsuit, right. limping backwards, feet bleeding. And they say to you, what happened here? I don't remember everything they said to me, but I remember them asking me what's happening, what, what happened to you. And I didn't want them to kill any of us mm -hmm. or shoot any of us. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I stepped on glass mm -hmm. because I didn't Why did want, you say that? Why didn't you say you shot me? I didn't, for some reason, I was just trying to protect all of us because I didn't want them to kill us. Like, even though this person just did, just did this to me, mm -hmm. My first reaction still was to try to save us. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see anybody die. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I stepped on glass. So when I see people trying to use that against me, like trying to act like I'm lying, oh, she stepped on glass, she never got shot. I'm the one who said I stepped on glass. I was lying to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. And I, sometimes I wish I really would have never said that. You wish you would have just told the truth. I wish I would have told the truth, but I, if it saved all of us from dying, then that's just probably what it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. So when you told the police you stepped on glass, did they believe you? I don't know. So how did you go from the glass? Did you go to the hospital? So right they took that? me straight to the, to hospital, the hospital and the police questioned me. And I said it was just glass. You still stuck with that I story. I stuck with it, it was glass. And right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like, you got fragments in this foot. Nigga, what the fuck? Officers were like, okay, we done with they this. They pulling up everything. The doctor came in and he was <coughs> like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like. All right, so since y'all want to pull some shit up, let me pull some shit up. I ain't playing with these niggas. Really, though, Screech? Niggas already... <laughs> the guy was still banging. Nigga, why would you put this up here? Why was it... It's, a bullet does that... That uh, that that look like that really could be glass, though. It, it look like it really could be glass. Because my whole thing is your skin is peeled off, right? Where's the hole? A bullet usually pierces something and kind of explodes like where it is, but it'll make a soaker or it'll make a circle or a hole. You got a whole bunch of cut up shit like that's really glass. And then you want to put this shit up here like people that that know what gunshots look like. 
does I does that really like a gunshot? At that point, it'd be like maybe it possibly could like depending on how you shot or whatever the fuck. But it's like if somebody's shooting like directly at a, at a foot, there would have to be a hole. That like if if it was a shot at the foot, it, like it grazed it. It only like even went in the foot. It like it grazed in that. At that same time, it's like how is it? How do you graze both sides of your feet or some shit? I don't know. That's kind of how you, I'm like that, that. You gotta be a good ass shooter to be that accurate on the inside, nigga. Like, I don't know what that shit is, nigga. If I look at that shit, I'd be like, nigga, that shit's from twerking. <laughs> Take a couple of days off from that stripping and shit. Yeah, you, you'll be right back on your feet. You, you'll be right back to it, no problem, nigga. Putting, oh, look at my feet, nigga. You're too much stripping. This is what it gets you, ladies and gentlemen, girls. Too much stripping. That twerk shit. <laughs> that twerk shit This is what happens when you do too much of that body Yada 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 <laughs> Yo shit nigga You be doing that shit to death Oh girl These heels is killing me Yeah 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 Nigga put this on screen <laughs> Nigga looking for sympathy they putting everything on screen, nigga. Your shit swollen too. <laughs> Them angles are swollen, nigga. Oh, you know what? Let me just keep going, nigga. Nigga, why her feet? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's just keep the video going. But for real though, did, did we all need to see the crusty musties? <laughs> <laughs> we all need to see the the busted ass shit like nigga. That shit like a reverse Reebok logo or some shit on you. Nah man. Nah man. But at the same time, like you gotta really look at this. See how everything is cut. Hold on, where my arrow at, man? Get my arrow. No, I need my arrow skills. Look, look how everything is cut. This is glass shape. They said she kicked the back window out of a car. But yeah, she's saying she got shot. But this is like glass. And if somebody was to shoot you, right, it goes like a hole somewhere. You should be pierced somewhere. It doesn't like anything is pierced like it could graze you at the most. But uh, even a bullet would have just did this. It wouldn't have came out and did all this shit. If it was like... What type of shit would, would that be? A shotgun or some shit would have spread out and it still would have been, it wouldn't have been like that. And at the same time, if it was one bullet right here, why do you have another scar right here? Where does this come from? Is this another bullet hole? <laughs> Is this another bullet hole right here? But it could be from kicking in glass and destroying glass and your, your leg getting cut up from trying to kick in a window from trying to get out the car let me out this motherfucking car let me out kicking glass and shit and it breaking and you cutting your damn self doing this shit that makes more sense that's why you cut all jagged up like this jigsaw shit and then you all cut right here that's glass it's not bullet fragments really though really though So what do we think, Scrish? I think she's guilty, Scrish. What y'all think? That nigga is guilty. Nah, motherfucker, it's definitely guilty. Hella guilty, nigga. You know guilty. Mm, you know I, ain't... <laughs> I gotta stop myself sometimes. I gotta stop myself. I gotta remember where I'm at. I'm on. I'm on a certain day. I gotta know it's good. Alright. But just that, like just looking at everything and when I sit back and I look at it, it's like I don't see anything. And for people that really follow me, we I watch videos. So people that follow me and they like those videos, like y'all like we watch videos of people that, that shoot things. Like we watch videos of like videos like of bullets being shot. Shotguns, rifles, handguns. We watch videos of like that going through armor, going through helmets, going through metal, going through all kind of weird ass shit. We watch those little videos. We've been watching like for, for my people that really was following me. We was watching videos like that. So we know when we look at certain things compared to even just like things that's supposed to stop bullets. 
a bullet is going to go through it and it's going to make a hole. I don't see a hole here at all. It looks like your skin is peeled and I'm seeing your meat and your bones and seeing other little pieces of your foot. But it doesn't look like anything has went through. And if anything was to go through, you know how many bones are in the foot? You wouldn't have been able to just twerk a couple weeks after. You would have had to start getting back to walk. How come we ain't getting none of those videos? If you were shot in both of your feet, you ain't have to learn how to walk or nothing? It's like, you're not making no sense to me, Screech. But, people are talking about it, people want to get on it. Alright, fine. We address it. <laughs> some people really believe in this, so. Uh, but then some people really believe she's a good rapper. I don't think she's a good rapper. I really don't. I think she she's good at the twerking shit, but then again, she's a stripper. So her doing the stripper shit is uh, she does it, she does anything for the money. I can imagine a stripper like her being in a locker room like, girl, I do anything for the money. I be over there like, oh my god, he shot me. I can. I can imagine them over there just even doing shit like this. So it's just like it's not unbelievable that you would be lying or even doing some shit like this and then blaming somebody else. But again, it's like when it comes to the evidence. It's stupid to put a photo like this. Like only people that don't know what what like a gunshot looks like would believe this. The only they would believe, dude. Even when bullets hit windows, doors, car door, like <laughs> when bullets hit shit, it pierce, it goes through a certain thing. It don't do no shit like this. That's why I'm just like, <laughs> I gotta start thinking like, was it a shotgun? Like what? Did the shit spread or some shit? I'm just... But she was shot. But again, you got all these jagged pieces, and then how does a bullet spread and come and hit you right here? Uh, maybe I'm wrong, Scratch. I'm wrong. You know you're right. Let, let let her say her piece. I'm so wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm insensitive. I shouldn't have said what I really felt and really thought. I should have catered to your feelings and your thoughts because your thoughts are way better than mine. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Me recognizing and acknowledging the inevitable is just so inconsiderate of me. I shouldn't let you know to even think any better than this. Let us say. They took me straight to the hospital and the police questioned me and I said it was just glass. You still stuck with that? I stuck with it, it was glass. And right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like you got fragments in this foot and it's like, right on the back of your Achilles. Oh. Like, there is a medical report that says that there were bullets, uh, that you had been shot. Mm -hmm. And the medical report also says that to this day, you still have bullet, still bullet fragments, fragments in, in your my foot. feet. And there are still many people as we sit here today, Megan, that don't even believe you were shot. The, there is um, a hot gun in the car. Yeah. The glass, did you go to the hospital? So right they took that? me straight to oh, the hospital, hospital and the police questioned me and I said it was just glass. You still stuck they with that? I stuck with it, it was glass. And right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like you got fragments in this foot and it's like right on. Ah, this is shit. I think I thought that was a fish. Is that your feet? Why would you put that on camera? Ah! You know what, Megan? I'm sorry. It does like the, the other foot, nigga. It like you was kicking some glass. I'm not gonna lie. Like, look, like this is whole. These are two different stories. Those are two different feet. That's not. A, that is not your foot. That is not your foot. That is not I'm your foot. Leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. Like, you got... 
<laughs> nigga, this is a class, okay? This is this, uh, unless you're talking about these little. Mm, 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 mm. Oh no, I, my error right there. Unless you're talking about these little little black marks and shit at the at the bottom of her feet, the little fragments and shit. That that's something else, nigga. That could be from missing. You over here showing this shit. This shit is from some other shit. You probably talking about this little black shit. Nah, nigga. That that that's glass and the bottom of your foot probably some fragments some in this foot. Shit. And it's like this shit look shot, nigga. Oh my god, nigga. Now listen. Motherfucker come up to me be like, I got shot, nigga, you did. Yo shit is busted. <laughs> Yo shit is busted. <laughs> Yo shit is over with. <sighs> you know what? I can't even. I'm sorry I'm even putting y'all through this. But we need to make an example. We just need to understand what's happening right now. Oh my god. You know what? Hey Megan. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You get a, an immediate apology. <laughs> Yo shit, it is busted. <laughs> Listen, if I was outside and had pictures on my foot like that, I would say a nigga shot me too. <laughs> nigga, my nigga, your foot busted. Well, yeah, nigga, this little shootout is, you know what I'm saying? This shit happens. <laughs> it's a damn. I swear, when they, when they, you know, like when people like on Discovery Channel, they catch a fish. The little little fish on the side, like, oh yeah, look at my fish. I thought that was a fish. I was like, she's showing feet. I'm like, nigga, look at your busted ass. Nigga, that's glass. Nigga, that's glass. They switch to this shit. I'm like, nigga, why the hell are they sh they showing us seafood? I didn't. I don't want to see no seafood. It's an ugly ass fish. I like. Oh, that I see the. Oh, 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 oh no, hell, what the. The fuck is this shit, Megan? <clears throat> Listen, <laughs> I don't know what toy shot you. Your friend shot you. <laughs> Anybody else shot you? But this shit look busted. <laughs> Somebody got to take the blame. <laughs> Somebody got. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I really didn't believe you got shot. <laughs> but your foot looks shot. That shit looks shot out. <laughs> oh shit. I'm sorry that you even have to put a picture like this up. I'm sorry you even gotta even acknowledge this. I'm sorry you gotta expose this to the world, nigga. Is that really your feet? <laughs> Is that really your feet? <laughs> oh. 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 Did you really have to show the world? <laughs> Did we have to go through the torture too? <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Hell no. Nigga, this shit, this black ass, is this the bottom of your foot? Oh, this shit look ugly, nigga. This shit look ugly. Why, why is it? Uh, it like you walked through South Africa, West Africa, <laughs> East Africa. <laughs> it like you done walked through all through Africa to this motherfucker. What the fuck? You done walked through Ethiopia with these motherfuckers. Traveled across Egypt and some old shit. <laughs> oh shit, nigga. It like you done been attacked by sharks and shit, nigga. <laughs> oh shit. Why your shit look like this? <laughs> hey, nigga. This was the wrong move. The wrong move. Oh, if you want to give your haters anything, it was this. They gonna use this like a motherfucker. <sighs> and if it was to do anything to gross anybody out about you, 
it'll probably be some shit like this, nigga. Like you should have just, you should have left these prisoners at the hospital. I, I would, I would have highly recommend that you just leave that with the nurse and the doctor. We don't need it. We didn't even want to see it. Nobody was. Did did anybody put out a, a request for that? Did anybody request? Nigga. <laughs> They're like, you survived Jaws 5 out that motherfucker. It's crazy. I don't like this. I'm like, nigga, if you was to get anybody to feel sorry about anything out this whole situation, if anybody was to feel bad about anything, it would be this. <laughs> it, would be, it would be all of this. It would be the other picture, and it would definitely be this. You see why they... They say you're the best for last. <laughs> oh, you thought that foot was bad. Look at this one. Oh, 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 oh damn. He did that to you. <laughs> Nigga, you set him up for real. <laughs> you blaming him for this? <laughs> Don't blame him for your shit. You could have got a pedicure. Man. You could have got your nails done and shit. She, she over here, she blaming this nigga for this. <laughs> you know how mad I'll be. <laughs> like imagine you have a girl. You that y'all you, you you got a, you got this girl you with and then all this shit happened and then she blame you and then say you did this shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me? I did this. <laughs> I did this, 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 all of this. Look how black. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> oh my God, Flame. That is un. That's incredible. That's undeniable, Flame. Nah. 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 Megan. You're still guilty, okay? Still good. Go ahead, turn my arrow down. We good right now. We gonna we gonna let the video play. I just wanna get a little dialogue. I I am Judge Rain. For those who don't know, <laughs> for those who aren't acquainted, <laughs> bitch, you guilty. Ugh, get that out of here, nigga. Oh God, nigga. Uh, Command GT, nigga. Get guilty. That nigga is guilty. Mm mm. Somebody had to take the blame for this. <laughs> nigga, somebody got to take the blame for this shit. <laughs> Hell no. <sighs> well, let's get this nasty ass shit off the screen. But this is just, this is incredible. Like, you really went, like, she going this far, nigga. Like, listen, if I was the judge, you did this to her. They setting you up. Oh, 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 oh. They setting you up, nigga. They setting you up. They done brought evidence. They got pictures, files. They want the world to see. Hey, look. Oh, oh, oh. oh they setting your shit up. Guilty. Guilty. Them niggas won't calm down about that shit, nigga. Them niggas going off, nigga. Them niggas is going off about that shit, nigga. I'm telling you, let this shit just go, but this shit is, how you be feel about, like, nigga, she blamed this on you, if she blamed this on you, what's you doing? <laughs> oh, no, it was them, she pointed the finger and everything, it was you. And then she do an interview like this, showing pictures and shit. Like, damn. You know what? Shit ain't looking. <laughs> shit ain't looking too good. <laughs> shit ain't looking too good. Like if I said, if you could, if she was to make people feel bad about anything. It would be some shit like this, Keish. It would be some shit like this. Class, did they believe you? I don't know. So how did you go from 
the glass did you go to the hospital so right they took that? me straight to the, the hospital, hospital. Mm -hmm. and the police questioned me and i said it was just glass you still stuck with that i story. stuck with it. it was glass and right as the officers was like okay we done with this we leaving the doctor came in and he was like you know you got bullets in both of your feet like you got fragments in this foot and it's like right on the back of your achilles mm -hmm. and i'm like there is a medical report that says that there were bullet uh, that you had been shot, mm -hmm. and the medical report also says that to this day you still have bullet, still bullet fragments, fragments in, in your my foot. feet. And there are still many people, as we sit here today, Megan, that don't even believe you were shot. The, there is um, a hot gun in the car. Yeah. What? What else? What? What happened? In text messages obtained by CBS News, Kelsey Harris, the other woman in the car texted Megan's security guard saying, help, Tori shot Meg. I really thought that we were all friends. And it's, sometimes I feel like I put the blame on myself because when my mom passed, I just felt like I was looking for some type of family environment and I was letting so many people in and I didn't care who it was. I just wanted to feel like I got family and I got people that care about me and just I could hang out with everybody and I, I was just going through it. What was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was, uh, that you two were dating. What was the nature we of We were your, not dating. We were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day and his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over, over that. And did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez. <laughs> Shut this shit up, nigga. <laughs> you see what this shit is, nigga? Get out there. That nigga is get out there. This shit I be talking about is why did this motherfucker have to stop, think, pause, wait a minute, think about it? <laughs> this motherfucker really said, uh, uh, wait, what was I supposed to say again? Oh, yeah. Nah, 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 we would never even that. Nah. That's like somebody asking you, like, is that your friend? That, is that my friend? Oh, uh, um, nah, nah. That my my friend. Is that your best friend? I see you. I see you with him all the time. Is that my best friend? Oh, um, no, um, no, no. <laughs> what take you so long to be thinking about shit like that? I'm um, past two. So when I felt like we were bonding over, over that, my... and did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. Tory Lanez pleaded not guilty to assault and weapons charges related to the shooting. We asked his attorney about Megan's allegations in this story. She responded that they look forward to addressing Ms. Pete's claims, including her inconsistencies, discrepancies, and omissions when his case goes to trial later this year. How has your life changed since you were shot? I feel like my anxiety is worse. I feel like my relationship with people is it's gotten very cold because I'm not as trusting as I used to be. I was going to ask you, is it hard for you to trust people? Like, I've got this wall and I don't want to make any friends and I'm trying to be as nice as I can to everybody. My, I don't even probably, new people, I probably don't even hold a conversation longer than 30 minutes because I feel like every time I'm talking, I'm like on the verge of tears and I don't want to have to explain to strangers why I'm crying. Yeah, yeah. Half the time, I just want to pick up the phone and call my mom and be like, what do I do? Like, it's too much. I feel crazy. I'm sad, like, and I feel like I have to hold it in because I have to be strong for so many people. What do you say to people that still don't believe that you were actually shot? I don't think 
any of this is for them. Like, it's for me. Like, I know this happened to me. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather it play out in court and the facts come out and everything comes out than me having to plead my case. And I, I'm a victim. Like, I'm the victim. Like, I don't, I'm not defending myself against anything. Like, something happened to me. And following a pretrial hearing earlier this month, Tory Lanez was taken into custody and later released on, on bail. A judge ruled that he had violated protective orders, including one that prevents him from sharing information obtained through the criminal proceedings. An attorney for the other friend in the car that night, her name is Kelsey Harris, she told, he told CBS News, my client is a private person, does not wish to make a public statement at this time, and added, I can assure you that my client has not been paid a dime by any party involved to remain silent, as suggested in social media posts. We also reached out to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office about this case. They told us this. We believe the evidence substantially supports the charges and allegations that the evidence will be borne out in court. No, because this is my room too. That's what I'm trying to tell you. you want me to move out? No, I don't want you to move out. So why are you saying that's not my room, Mama? Because this whole house is for me. And then you want to get mad and tell my people into your room. But you always be having Jenny in your room, so you want to take her room too. Yeah. I mean, you don't have no job. Don't worry, Jenny. Don't worry. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Talk to her. gonna talk to me because she's my daughter. And, hey, leave her alone. Mama, can I play with my baby sister, please? This is my can daughter. Can I play with my baby sister, please? No, because I'm not <laughs> her. <laughs> hey, move away from the kid. Mama. What? You, you want me to move out? No, I don't want you to move out. I want you to stay right here with me. Come your butt. Where you think you're going? Uh, do you think I don't? Do you think I have time for this? Yes, you have time for this. No, I don't. You ain't nothing but a kid, yeah, so you have time for anything I want you to have time for. Think about what you've been doing. What I've been doing. <laughs> You think about what you've been doing and think about how you better turn around and talk to me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> Fix your face. <laughs> Fix it. Look at me. What's the problem? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You don't have a room. Yes, I do. Uh, What'd I do? You missed court. No, I didn't. Romain, stop, all right? We're not going to play this with you, all right? Come on, bro. I'm playing 2K. I'm Okay. Come on. You're, you're in the park. Come on. Let's go. Come all right, on. let me put on some clothes. That nigga's bugging. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> oh my god. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> This nigga said the baby upgrade. I pull up. I pull up. <laughs> oh. Is that.
that the <laughs> <laughs> oh shit hold up cause it's funny cause everybody keeps saying the baby got the <laughs> <laughs> oh okay I got hold on, hold on. Hold on. let me just, let me just get the laughs out let me just get the laughs out and then <laughs> Cause the thing about it though, right? Is everybody say the baby head is shaped like a PT cruiser. <laughs> and since everybody say that nigga head shaped like a PT cruiser. These niggas really made a, <laughs> a car out of this nigga head. A nigga went to the fucking custom auto body shop <laughs> and asked for the baby special. And nigga said, <laughs> I pull up. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. No, nigga. So, baby. <laughs> Why is there a side by side? <laughs> oh shit! Hey, look, I gotta show y'all. Okay, all right, all right. These niggas, <laughs> these niggas, don't get the <laughs> side with the PT cruiser. <laughs> That shit is funny. Oh god. <laughs> the roundness. It, it go down here and then it falls off. It go down there. Oh god. That shit is too funny. You think it's the main <laughs> Why is there so many of them? <laughs> Why is there so many on? Hey, this one got glasses. <laughs> Ring me. Message. These niggas got this shit. What a screensaver. Oh my god, this shit is so funny. But why, like, literally, like, why is there so many? <laughs> that shit. <laughs> I pull up. <laughs> I'll be so mad if motherfucker do some shit like this. <sighs> but nigga head <laughs> shaped like a PT cruiser. Oh god. Why are they doing this? Mm, I don't wanna go over there. I just thought this shit was funny. Oh, but we get back to <laughs> we get back to stream, but nigga, this nigga shit is is it's inevitable, <laughs> inevitable. This nigga shit is a PT cruiser, nigga. Original edition. <laughs> no paint job needed. <laughs> this nigga, nigga said I pull up. <laughs> That was the wrong thing you gave these niggas. <laughs> now all these niggas do. Is... Oh shit, nigga. It was a side by side, now it's a face to face, back and forth. The resemblance is. It's uncanny. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh shit, nigga. Y'all niggas are damn near the same color, nigga. <laughs> nigga, y'all twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> Alright, let's go back, Chris. I'm done fucking with you. <laughs> I'm done fucking with you. Let's go back. Let's see what I'm doing.
Hoppla! <laughs> no stop! I'm sorry! Don't turn in this shit! I'm trying to watch the video! <laughs> Ooh, we don't need no side by side. No, nigga, don't do no turn around on nothing, nigga. We don't need side by side. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. Why do y'all just give us like a whole 360 in this nigga shit? Like, <laughs> Y'all so fucked up. It's like, damn. A nigga can't just take a picture. <laughs> Y'all know nigga. <laughs> Y'all done modified this into some evil shit. I'm trying to figure out. Are y'all really just fans? Or y'all just really like evil diabolical motherfuckers? Like, I'm like, who would do this? And who would want this? Like, first of all, you done made a whole modification of this nigga head. Why? You had that much time? You put it in the game, and niggas is spinning around the city in that shit. <laughs> like a brand new PT Cruiser. <laughs> oh, no. I can't have that. I can't have that. I can't I can't have that on stream. I can't, really, I can't have that and not say nothing. You can't just... You done... This is this is where we at with the shit. God, nigga. <coughs> nigga. The fact that they could even fit your head on <laughs> the fact that they could fit your head on some shit. <laughs> like, looking at something like this, tell me this shit didn't look like it was just easy. This shit like they just put the picture on there and just <laughs> Tell me this shit don't look like it was easy. Like, nigga, why does this shit look normal for a minute? For <laughs> like, nigga, your hair really is a PC cruiser, nigga. Like, they put the skin on them, it's kind of. <laughs> it look like it. <laughs> it almost look normal for a minute. I'm like, nigga, your shit. This motherfucker got the nigga with cheese smiling, nigga, from the sides. Like, damn, nigga can't just smile and take a picture. Y'all gotta go make fun of everything that he does, even if he ain't doing it. You make fun of the shape of this nigga head. <laughs> oh God! Y'all making a fun of the shape of his head. It was one thing for it to be a meme. The fact that it's an actual modification. <laughs> And y'all know I'm a gamer, and we do streaming here. This is a real thing. Like, if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> and it's just funny. It's like, like y'all really did this. Out of all the great designs and anime characters and all the modifications people could have came up with, it's like you you had time for, for this. <laughs> and then, like, look at it. It's just funny to me. But it, it is kind of like, it's crazy. It's like. <laughs> it work in the, in a sense of the shape. Like y'all know smart cars. Like if this is like a smart car or some type of extra small, like like Prius or some shit, it will work. Just not with this shit on it. But the fact that it's a video game and like that, then it make it seem more like some type of like modification. But like still kind of like, why does your shit still work for this? Shit? It don't even like it's like kind of weird. Like this is like a car, but then the nigga put his face on it. My nigga, you do have a PT cruise and shit. <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs>
Don't touch her, bro! Let's go! <laughs> the babies, they're everywhere. I pull up. Don't touch me! Get off me, man! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. I pull up. Let's go. And then his head's gonna ward off to baby with the let's go shirt. Oh god. a way of bringing things to light. Yeah? Weapons forged in secret. Truths long hidden. The darkest parts of our world always make their way to the surface. And confronting such a force calls for weapons more powerful than ever before. So we adapt. We fight fire with fire. Because when those forces arrive, we are the ones who stand and fight. I pull up. <laughs> I pull up. It's great. Y'all wanna see that again? Let's, let's, let's see that again. Screech. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> he turns into the car. <laughs> Cause you know the lyric. Yeah, see, y'all see he got the same meme he was talking about. Right? I just showed y'all. And that's from a video on YouTube to even Google search, right? So this is around the world. Like people know this, and people, not everybody, but people know this. And this is what is this kind of thing is kind of like is on. So I thought it was kind of weird, or funny, but I like how the ending goes to where he he his, he he really turned into the PT Cruiser, and he just drives off. Like this, they just turned this nigga. He really converted into a PT cruiser and spun off. I'm fucking with his kids. This shit is funny, but it is kind of like graphic and kind of like disgusting and slimy. But that's just how like the graphic designer does their shit. I don't have a say so in that, but this is how it goes. So I like I said, I like to share stuff with y'all. So I seen this. I want to share with you guys, update you guys what's going on with me a little bit. Seen this, I'm like, that's funny. Tricks of the song. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, well, well he's a rapper. I pull up. Whoa, it's the baby, Bro, I was just showing my girl memes about you. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing, man? Jeremy, stop him! Hey, get off my girl! Don't touch her, bro! Let's go! <laughs> the babies, they're everywhere. I pull up. Uh, don't touch me! Get, get off me, man! <laughs> Let's go! Ah! 
Let's go. Let's go. Apollo. Let's go. Make a head converted. <laughs> Ward off to baby. You see how that shit jumped around and shit? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Apollo. <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go,
I don't think Call of Duty been falling off. I just think it's been getting kind of lazy in the way that it kind of does what it does because it go it has so many games. It has to update Cold War, then you got Modern Warfare, then you got Warzone, then you got Vanguard. It's like nigga, you got like four to five different games you got to manage, and on top of that, you got all these different bundles. Then you got all these different game modes you got to update and fix and all this other shit. Then you got all these other things you need to keep up with, with reports and abuse and trying to report a player, mute a player, block a player. You got to report. You got to fix all that shit. Like you, I just feel like Call of Duty is just doing too much. Y'all just doing this a little too much, man. Slow it down. And I think that's another reason why Call of Duty said... It was going to be a new Call of Duty coming out this year. Y'all know that? But they, for I guess for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know exactly why the reason is. There was a new Call of Duty coming out this year, around like November, October. But it wasn't, they, they, they canceled it and they rescheduled it for next year, I think like November, October. Because that's when their games normally come out. That's their that's they release date or whatever. They, they claim that, I don't know. But... I'm kind of happy that they didn't release it because I need to catch up on a lot of this shit. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm tired of buying new things. It's become like 2K and Madden to where it's like I'm buying the same football game. I'm buying the same basketball game. Like, why am I buying a new 2K, a new Madden? It's the same fucking football basketball game. Just because y'all change a little shit and add a little graphics to it. I'm supposed to be over here spending all this money and then be so invested into it. But at the same time, it's fucked up for me because I've built and I've invested so much time and effort into all this other shit with creative players, building stats to all these little teams, to all my little rankings and everything on the scoreboard. That's fucked up for me. So now how am I supposed to go over here and then be like, all right, I'm about to restart every fucking year. At that point, it starts feeling pointless. What's the point of even playing the fucking game? You about to restart everything. You're going to restart everything. At that point, it's a it's a temporary brag instead of a permanent one. Which then lessens the value of even enjoying the fucking game. Because, like, I can enjoy this game as much as I want to. They're just going to tear it down. Give it all the glitches to force me to then buy the new game to then want to play that shit. That's fucked up. Why would they do that? That's my problem with Call of Duty. But again, like I said... I'm happy to kind of like be more back into it and get back into Because y'all know, like when I first started the streaming shit, I didn't know what to fucking stream or what to play. All I played, all I was playing was Call of Duty. So all I, when I first was streaming, the only games, like people that, that, that was really following me, like that, you can even go back and see. <laughs> all I was playing was Call of Duty and Tekken. So it's either Call of Duty... Modern Warfare, Cold War, or it was going to be Tekken. Tekken 7, Tekken 6. Maybe some Tekken Tag. Tournament 2. All it was was Call of Duty and Tekken. Call of Duty and Tekken. So that's why for me, I, I feel kind of good getting back into the game. But at the same time, I still feel like they fucking up. They definitely fucking up. And I'm going to try to download this fucking... Modern Warfare, y'all saw uh, last stream, somebody was trying to invite me to play the, the Modern Warfare shit. I couldn't go with them because I have to download the game. The game going to take a while to fucking download. I'm not going to be able to do that right now. And I'm on stream. I wasn't going to be able to do that. But they wanted to go ahead. It's just so much bullshit, even just trying to even just deal with some shit like that. It's like Warzone will work just fine, but then the, the, the game, Modern Warfare, the multiplayer, the campaign, nothing, nothing works. And I'm tired of that shit. I got to uninstall a pack to reinstall a pack. I shouldn't have to do shit. I paid for the game. It should work. Y'all going to make me sue y'all in a minute. I don't like that shit. Because at that point, that's false advertisement. And I paid for a game that I can't play because... What? I'm surprised they haven't gotten a lawsuit by now. All the people complaining about you being sexual harassment. Man, that 
that doesn't make no fucking sense, man. That's another thing that made me not want to play the game. Because of how the developers are. But I try to look at it in separation in the sense of if somebody was to do something bad as a person, but yet they make all these these Hondas and Toyotas or all these cars that we drive, I wouldn't say not to drive the cars. Like We drive the cars and everything. I just wouldn't say associate with that person. It makes no sense for us to destroy and get rid of material that we can use when it's not the material that's bad, but it's actually the person. So. Anyway, fine. Give me a minute. I'll be back for... Look, it's been a few new releases with these songs, right? And I got a song right here. Well, it's like, that's when it hits. Let it go. And then it's been another one. It's been another song that came out. And I want to play that song too. But I can't. Y'all know I can't. <laughs> Y'all know I can't. David, David Y'all know I can't. It's crazy. They send me them notifications. Oh, yeah, you've been playing them songs, huh? You've been enjoying yourself. <laughs> Take that shit down. <laughs> we watching you. You over there playing them fucking songs. Yeah, right. I'm just, I'm, just I'm, I'm like that, though, Scratch. I'm like that. It's just the music. I just had to. I have to. This music. How you gonna stop the music? Nigga, it's a song, nigga. Give me three minutes, nigga. Excuse yourself. Excuse yourself, nigga. Three minutes, nigga. I can't even just have a song. Just please. Five minutes, ten. They're gonna make me get in trouble because I'm over here making a party. Nigga, I'm, I'm bringing more customers and viewers. To you, <laughs> I'm just playing. I know the technicalities of why they say that and everything. I'm just playing, squeeze. I know why. I know why, squeeze. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait. Um. You know what? Let's watch this, right? Because, like I said, when I when I was just talking about the Megan Thee Stallion shit, right? The, these are the videos I'm talking about. I might as well just show y'all what I'm talking about. When we watch videos about, like, shit being shot and how everything looks when it gets shot. Let This is the shit I was talking about. So we gonna watch this to so I can show y'all what I was talking about when I say that we watch videos and stuff like that to see like the outcome of actual guns being fired off. That's why it's like when I see stuff like that, me like that's why I be saying like it, like some of the videos might look kind of weird. Why are you watching this or? anything like that but some videos they might be weird until things like this happen to where it's like yeah i can kind of use that information and based off what i'm i'm normally seeing i'm just i'm assessing it a certain way so i don't think the scenario went out the way that she she stated it but we're just going to just go with the alleged 
statement because that's what that's what she's going with. That, that's that's her stance. That's her stance. So let her have her stance. But I feel like let's just watch this video, screens. We're going to watch another one of these, and then we're getting a Call of Duty. But I want to show y'all what I was talking about when I said that, in case y'all didn't know. I ain't got no problem just showing y'all what I was talking about. I ain't got no problem showing y'all what I was talking about. I'll go ahead and just play this shit right now. Squish, yeah? Sometimes it's not real. Sometimes it is, though. We've got some products that actually really work, and they're fairly good price. Uh, today, I think we have some of that, and we have some lies. This first one is supposed to be a level three plate carrier. Uh, you can tell it's a very cheap plate carrier, and then when I pick it up, it weighs about two pounds. So it, it definitely did not come with any plates. Let's just see if there is something where the plate should be. I don't even know how the plates go in here. But it's super light. Are the plates just, okay, there's not even a place to put a plate in. There's some, there's a piece of foam or something. Oh no, here it is, the Velcro at the bottom. My bad. Oh yeah, you could put a plate in. And it has a plate. Yep, that definitely, definitely is gonna stop some stuff. It's actually, okay, that was tougher than I thought it would be, but I'm pretty sure that this foam is not gonna stop a bullet. We're gonna put it to the test though. Next up is actually a concealed vest. And it actually, I think it's gonna work. It does feel, I haven't opened this one up either. It feels like it has, some weight to it. I think it has some Kevlar in there. You can see it looks like a vest that would go under a suit. So like you could have your suit jacket and then you have that thing right there, totally protected, if it actually works. Let's see if I can open this one and see what this stuff is. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this is a big old thing. Feels to me like it's got Kevlar on the outside and some sort of padding on the inside. This one actually Kevlar. says what it will stop. So we got 22 mag up to 44 mag, 1400 feet per second velocity. This one looks good. I think this one's actually gonna work. This is a high quality NIJ 3A VIP concealed bulletproof vest. Military bodyguards, lightweight Kevlar, 28 layers, body armor. And it normally is $500, but it was marked down to $304 or four interest free payments of $76. What a deal. Okay, that actually all sounds Pretty legit. It says compass armor performance will change the way you evaluate body armor. I mean, if that changes it, I'm, I'm pumped to see what it changes us to. This performance civilian body armor system is rigorously tested against special threats, in quotes for some reason, and designed with over five integrated features. It does not say what those five integrated features are, but I can't wait to figure out what they are. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is a bulletproof visor. We've actually taste, tasted, Please. I've never tasted one, but we've tested you one think those that work? was similar. It was just a face shield. This one you actually those works to a helmet, which is why the, the thing is so big, because it's supposed to go to a helmet and it has a really thick plexiglass feeling uh, visor, face. Oh, look. Y'all wanna, wanna do a little, little ASMR here? I'm not gonna be very good at this ASMR thing. <laughs> Steve, we're just gonna shoot it like that. Military NIJ level 3A ballistic bulletproof anti-riot police helmets visor bulletproof visor. <laughs> $246, what a deal. The bulletproof visor for helmet, PC and bulletproof glass material to stop nine millimeter and 44 mag. Okay, so it's also level 3A. The bulletproof mask is composed of a mask window and a mask bracket. Yep, we got that. The mask window is made of imported high performance transparent material and has stable performance. <laughs> That's the best part about these ads, they don't make any sense. Lightweight with bracket, high light transmittance and no light distortion, good. Easy to use and flexible to adjust with high and low temperature, water immersion, and bulletproof effect is stable. Let's just read that one again. With high and low temperature, water immersion, and bulletproof effect is stable. The visor can be locked into three positions, including fully elevated, 45 degree, 
and deployed. I'd like to stay fully elevated on the visor. And last but not least, these gloves. These are actually something I'm really pumped about because they promise a lot and the price is unbeatable. Okay, they're $4. These are $4 gloves, which, you know, like, that's good. Like, every man can afford some bulletproof $4 gloves. First, just looking at the picture, they're new and they're military gloves. And not only do they stop bullets, they stop entire cartridges that are explosive flying down range. You can see it in the graphic right there. High quality US military hard knuckle tactical gloves, motorcycle gloves, motorcycle, ATV, cavalry, army, combat, full finger gloves, men, air rifle, scratch and bulletproof. Air rifle, scratch and bullet, not only are they bulletproof, they're scratch proof. For $4, you can't afford not to get these. $4 or, or if you can't afford $4, you can do four interest free payments of $1. Oh, the description's in Spanish. Luckily, I speak a little bit of Spanish. Este guante es de los mejores guantes tácticos. Okay, these gloves are the best gloves for, for tactical sports. It says deportivos tácticos. I can only assume that means tactical sports. And they have excellent protección. The top of the glove also has protection and the palm has Antidesizante. I don't know what that means. That's a, but it has antidesizantes, which is probably probably good. That's probably why it's four dollars and not three. The tactical gloves have complete fingers. Gloves of motocross, ATV, gloves of military, pistol gloves, work gloves, motorcycle gloves, sports gloves, etc. Wow, they still abbreviate etc. etc. in Spanish apparently. Safety protection during pinchazos. <laughs> I don't know what that means. They smell like chemicals. Ugh. Also, they weigh nothing, so they're, they're for sure not gonna stop a thing. And they say that they're bulletproof and scratch proof. I think both of those are fake. Y'all wanna see what we're shooting today? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the newest gun of the Demolition Ranch Armory. I actually saw this thing in a store and I was like, yeah, I need to have that. This is a kel Sub CQB. So, for those who have seen kel for the last like 20 years, they've had this gun called the Sub-2000, which is pretty cool because it's a little carbine, pistol caliber carbine, which folds in half. The kel Sub-CQB version is integrally suppressed. So you can see that end looks pretty big there. It's because the whole end of it is suppressed. So the way to get this out is you pull this thing back, this folds, twist into place, and then you have a gun ready to go and you can see that barrel is pretty thick because our suppressor is in there it's part of the gun this was actually a two tack stamp gun because the suppressor and it has a short barrel so it has a, it's an sbr and it's also a um, suppressed gun we went ahead and put a crimson trace rad max pro on there nice little red dot and then up here we put the surefire mini scout light on top this thing's on a hinge so you can go up and down. We have it right there out of the way of the red dot and it just looks super tactical and cool. I actually couldn't wait to shoot this so I did shoot it a few days ago and it is so cool. Like with subsonics it's the quietest thing ever. So I don't actually know about the CQB ones but the old sub 2Ks they had them not only in Glock mag configuration but mine is a Glock mag configuration which in my opinion is the way to go because those are the most readily available. So this is a Glock 19 mag right there. That's how big the handguard is. But you can also put a Glock 17 mag in there, which sticks out a little more, has a couple more rounds. Or you can put a Glock 18 mag in there and you've got 32 rounds on tap in your little suppressed gun. Or you can put a Glock 50 mag in there, which is pretty cool as well. Or you can put a Glock 69 mag in there, which is pretty cool as well. It takes all Glock mags. As you can see. We're gonna get to this gun in a minute though. Let's start putting our targets out there. We're gonna work up small to big calibers and see how they do. We got our uh, friends set up downrange and they are all sporting the brand new wish.com armor. Let's see how they fare. I think the two on the left are gonna do pretty well. I think the two on the right are gonna do a uh, big fail. Big, big fail. All right, going straight at the vest over here. Yep. Going straight at the mag, yep. Going straight at that vest. Oh no, what happened? That was a live round, I don't, I don't know what happened there. 
All right, now let's move in for the glove. Straight at the glove. That, that dinged the dinger behind the glove. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Hit right here. Let's see what we got. No bulge in the back. So this one is 22 long rifle, bulletproof. Hit right here. Actually looks pretty shallow. Did not go through at all. No bulge on the back. The mask is 22 proof. Hit right here. That's not gonna work, I don't think. Came out there, went in there. <laughs> Came out his back, went through the back plate, went through the pouch, and hit the metal right there. This one was a lie. Now, his, that wasn't this glove, it was this glove. All right, I shot him right here. Yeah, it came through right there. Glove, definitely not bulletproof. You know what, I didn't shoot him in the knuckle though, and I don't know what these are. Like, the way this works, you got your knuckles and then you got kind of like a halfway down your finger punching part. Let's shoot both of the, ooh, we didn't try the scratch proof either. Hold on, let's see if it's scratch proof right now. All right, red, I'm just kidding, nope. This is bull. I paid good money for these, like four dollars. That's like two dollars a glove, and it just scratches all up. All right, let's shoot. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this and this with a 22, and see if either of those stop a bullet. But I'm pretty sure that neither of those will stop a bullet. We're gonna see if this will protect his uh, lower abdomen. We're gonna hit the knuckle part first, and see if it stops it. I think I might have actually pulled that one to the right. Yeah, it went right there. Let me try that again. I felt that wind get me there. That one felt good. That one, straight in the knuckles. Yeah, there's a bunch of holes. The one that went through this thing, definitely went right through. Let's, here, hold this for me, please. Thanks. Oh, that's it right there. Yep. Zero part of this scratch-proof, bulletproof glove is actually scratch-proof or bulletproof. What'd you say? What'd you that's what I thought. The kel Sub CQB. Let's do, uh, we're gonna do some supersonic rounds first. We got a Glock 17 mag here, so a little bit extra. So the way you charge it is right here and you actually can lock it open like that and slap it close. So we're good to go. Um, let's just uh, see how she fires. I already know. Ah! So that's supersonic. It's muffling the sound of the actual explosion, but that round's coming out breaking the speed of sound and so it's cracking, and so it's still fairly loud, even though it's very quiet compared to a normal nine millimeter. Let's put some subs in there. You guys can hear, hopefully can hear the difference. It's always hard to, uh, man, I wanna charge it up here. That's weird. It's always hard to actually hear on camera. I'm gonna shoot it in the dirt first. It is so stupid quiet. <laughs> that is so cool. We got Glock 18 mag with supers in it. See if we can hit on the long range 100 yard target over here. I freaking love this gun. You guys know the drill. We got a new gun. We get an epic montage. Here we go! Um, three, two, one. So it usually takes over. Um, hold on, uh, here, here, here it comes. I thought I, I thought I heard it. Um, wait. No, that was a bird. Uh, hello? It's, it's a new gun! And it's time to fire! Let's go! That was me, I pulled the trigger. Usually it takes over and like it does all that. But. Hey, hello? 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 I don't, I don't really know.
think we're doing um, super, then sub, super, then sub. I think is how I loaded them. We're going at the vest, super, <laughs> sub, <laughs> so weirdly quiet. And at the visor, super, <laughs> he did. Not looking good with that supersonic nine millimeter. Dude, the bullet's still in it. It hit right there, about an inch below the bottom. You can see that copper and lead in there, but did stop it. We're gonna go ahead and shoot a sub in there, just for good measure. See if we can protect his hip bone, and then we'll check him out. And subsonic. Okay, that one looks cooler, so we're gonna look at this one first. I don't know which one is which, but let's see if either one of them went through. They should not have. Nope, solid. All right, so this thing probably is 3A, like we expected, like they said it was. And then this, man, that's cool to see a difference. So I thought I missed it or something on this one because it was so weak, but that's our nine millimeter supersonic. Big cracks going everywhere, big disturbance. Actually, there is a tiny little bulge in the back. You can actually see that bullet right there. And then this is our subsonic, which was just the same kind of bullet, but going way slower. And what's neat is you can actually see the bullet is all right here, broken up, and you can see it catches it, just like the 22. That's metal all around the edges there. It goes under this first layer. Actually, look, there's three layers. There's this hard outer layer, there's this big thick layer, and then there's an inner layer. Looks like uh, Subsonic N22 did not even make it into the third layer. You hear that? Where the bullet spread? You see how the bullet spread? We've been watching these videos for probably about like a year now on stream. This ain't no coincidence, nigga. I ain't just pulling this shit up just cause. Neat is you can actually see the bullet is all right here, broken up, and you can see it catches it, just like the 22. That's metal all around the edges there. It goes under this first layer. Actually, look, there's three layers. There's this hard outer layer, there's this big thick layer, and then there's an inner layer. Looks like uh, Subsonic N22 did not even make it into the third layer, but stopped it all, which is pretty neat. I like this gun. A couple weird things about it. This thing I found out unscrews as I was shooting. I was like, man, that's really far out. So that's kind of weird, but that's probably how you clean it. I just didn't know that before, but it is interesting. So that is just so you can turn it sideways, and then this is how you actually fold it back on itself, and it hooks. and. <sighs> It's cool little product, for sure. Now we're gonna move to something bigger though. Let's see if we can bust through these things. The next gun is another kel -Tec. You guys know I like weird stuff and kel makes weird guns. They're unique. This is a bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. We have it loaded with uh, some buckshot <laughs> slug rounds. They have both. We're gonna go straight at our vest over there first. Gah! Somehow, I hit the vest and the uh, the mask. Let's go investigate. My shoulder hurts. Ow! I don't see nothing. I happen. am a crime scene investigator, and I figured out what happened. This guy, subject number one, is right here, and he took a hit right there. Also right there. Ooh, that one. That one made it through because that's right under the Kevlar. But here's where most of the buckshot went. But a little bit of it hit right here. Actually, that one might have been the one that went through the groin. Hit right here. Hit this and flew over and just knocked something out. This thing has no direct hits from that. So we're going to have to shoot that one again. But let me just see if this buckshot did actually stop. Yeah, all the stuff that hit Kevlar stopped, but all the stuff around the edges went through. Okay, did work on that big round. That actually may not have a slug in it because I don't see a slug hit. Let me go look, make sure I'm not lying to y'all. I lied to you guys, uh, it was just double lot buckshot, no slug. We are going straight at our mask over there. <sighs> Ow! So we went left, but everything stayed in there. Yeah. All right, solid. Um, it stopped it. 
it's time for a rifle. Another Keltec, also folding, very cool. It's an SU-16 and it shoots a 5.56. So we're going to uh, fire this. This should go through the vest. I don't know about the, uh, the mask though. It, it, may, it may not go through the mask. All right, coming and hop on the vest. And the mask. I saw something hit to the right, so I may have missed it or it may have gone through. I'm not sure. You okay? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. I'm not sure which hole it is because there's a bunch of holes. That, it looks like it actually. Yep. And went straight through. And came out the back and came out the back. Not rifle rated, which it didn't say. That one said it was just pistol rated. The mask, also pistol rated. Yeah, 5.56 hit him square right there and came out right there. Right into your dome. So two out of four did what they say they would do. And two out of four total lies. When you like put the kel all on the table like this, you can see like how weird innovative if you will how unique Keltec guns are they're just different they don't follow the norms which is cool i like that about them anyways i love that thing it is actually the quietest nine millimeter suppressed gun that i have now and it is so much quieter in real life than i think it will be on video it is just like it's awesome so anyway i'm really loving the new addition to the demo ranch armory thank you guys so much let me know if you found some really uh, questionable armor online, I will buy it and I will put Let's go. Cause I had so much fun yesterday. This was next after another hundred of that. So all I need is another 500. Oh, we might unlock this. I might finally get this. I need another 500. Oh, and then I just, I need another 500 for this one too. And I unlock this one. I'm about to unlock all these. I need another 500. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick, Flame. Yeah. 
Damn, what was that? You... She had access to that? I'm not sure about any of these other moves anymore. I just, can I just, can we just run the game? Damn, I done used all my shit up. All of it. What level she at? Four? Yeah, she kind of, she ranked up kind of fast. Nigga that stood there and ain't do nothing. Basically, you kind of join maybe at the beginning of it. We'll be there on wave three. Is a victory for life itself. So that probably was like wave two. Onwards and upwards, my allies.
There we go. Star Wars gun. This motherfucker. Active. Active though. What the hell is that on your bag? Why they got this shit on their bag? Is that on my bag too? For a surprise, this nigga, fuck your surprise attack.
nigga jump right off. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm out.